Exercise 13. Compute the current ratio and ask the test ratio for each of the following separate cases. The current ratio is the ratio between total current assets and total current liabilities. So for case X, we take total current assets, 4,070, divide by total current liabilities, 2,442. The ratio is 1.67. The company has $1.67 in current assets for every $1 in current liabilities. Case Y, total current assets, 3575 divided by current liabilities, 1221 2.93, $2.93 in current assets for each dollar in current liabilities. And Case Z, 7438 divided by 4054 a current ratio of 1.83. So using the current ratio, it looks like all three of these companies will be able to satisfy their current liabilities. The acid test ratio takes a closer look at the availability of the current assets to satisfy current liabilities. The numerator only includes quick current assets. The quick current assets would include cash, short-term investments, and current receivables, and would exclude the inventory and prepaid expenses. For case X, the numerator now becomes $820 divided by current liabilities, 2,442. The asset test ratio is 0.34. The company only has 34 cents in quick current assets for every dollar of current liabilities. Looking at case Y, the numerator is the sum of cash, short-term investments, and current receivables, $1,946 in the numerator divided by current liabilities of 1,221. The acid test ratio is 1.59. And for case Z, the numerator is the sum of cash, short-term investments, and current receivables, $2,438, divided by current liabilities, 4,054, acid test ratio of 0 0.60. So of the three companies, the company case, which is in the best position to meet their short-term obligations, is Company Y, with an acid test ratio of 1.59. Even when we exclude the inventory and prepaid expenses, the quick current assets are more than enough, $1.59, for every dollar in current liabilities.